Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, friends of the podcast. Hello, everybody. Samantha. Lisa. Why do you, did it rain on your rainbow parade? Listen, first off, my issue is, can we share the <laughs> no, armrest? We are. I normally don't want to use the armrest, and today I want to use some of the armrest, okay? <laughs> so so move your elbow over oh just a Oh, my pinch. God. I'm just saying, right? Oh, my God. Uh, all right. That's all. Because normally, I, I was just thinking about that. I never ever use the armrest. Whatever. So now, right now, I'm just... Can you just stop mm. complaining for five uh, seconds, I'm not please? complaining. Yeah, you are. No, what I was complaining about earlier oh. was... Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> we have one chance in the day, in our life... Oh, uh, yes, I wrecked your rainbow moment. You wrecked my rainbow moment. And it was a beautiful rainbow, and I just wanted to get a few pictures. I drove. I stopped. There was a rainbow. No, there was certain places you missed the rainbow. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. And then we had to go around the block. Because you won't just stop and put the car in reverse on the side road. Said we got to go around the block while the big, dark clouds are coming and taking away my rainbow. Right? All I needed was a little sunshine and rainbow. And it's like when we go and we look at the Christmas houses. <laughs> and we want to take some pictures. Right? And, and you always pull up past the scenery. It's really more about me than you. Well, why are you missing the scenery? I'm not. I can you see always... it from where I'm looking. Yeah, but you're not the picture taker. <laughs> I'm the picture taker, and I'm like, got to contort and try and get looking in a different direction. Contort. Let's be honest. I'm just... You're not doing anything <laughs> extra special to get that picture. I'm doing some contorting. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. There is no contorting. Samantha, for the rainbow picture, I was like, I had the I had the window down. I t put the window down. Well, it's because you're like super controlling. <laughs> Right? Even though my side of Betty has her own window windower, you are like super controlling and you got to control oh the window God, too. I got it. that. Well, it's like you were holding sure. your phone. I get that. But guess what? I still have my Peter Pointer that can still push a button. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. All right. I think there's still residual uh, effects from the night out with the HHT. <laughs> no, that was a perfect night out. I think you took some brain cells and threw them out the window. We definitely probably did get rid of some brain cells. <laughs> That was like, you know what? Our girl, she can party. Mm -hmm. She, I only saw the beginnings. My girl wants to party all the time. Party. You know that song by Eddie Murphy? Yeah. She parties all the time. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I was, <laughs> you saw the beginning. Yeah, I saw the beginning. Yeah, you're probably not wanting to see the end. No, prob no I saw a picture you, of oh, the end. Yeah, we snapped you, didn't we? Yeah. Was it bad? Well, I was wondering why you were on, why you were in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> So, we went to the hood because our ex, because the girl lady, one of the ladies we used to work with, Nancy, mm -hmm. she was in the hood. And we were trying to get her to come to us. It all was just a and joke. And again, what the hell? Were we in the hood? We were in the heart of the hood, hey? Yes, you were. We were in the heart of, we went from like upscale trend to the heart of the hood. And it was so crazy. If you should have seen me, I did a shot of tequila and quite enjoyed it. Oh, God. No, like when you do the salt. So I don't know. You know, you take a little bit of salt yes, and you put it on your head. I've drank tequila. Yeah. It was so good, Samantha. <laughs> and then it was funny because we were like the funniest people there. Just ask us. Uh-huh. Right? Mm -hmm. We had a little booth and the HHG, she just like, she like dancing in her chair and great, like not on the chair, but like, like, cause she's a mover, right? Uh -huh. She likes the music. Uh -huh. And uh, the time, it, well, it was so like, boom. And now it's like, oh my God, four o'clock in the morning. Four. By the time, yes. Four. Four. Where the hell did you end up? Nowhere, but Bridges doesn't close till three. <laughs> so by the time, right, and then, I, and then I'm a good friend, right, because the, the HHG was out and nobody at her home was loving her enough to, like, not that they wouldn't have came got her, right, uh -huh. but it was way past everybody's bedtime, right? Yes. So, so n nobody was loving their mom. Uh -huh. So I said that I would take the Uber with her home to make sure she got safe, uh -huh. and then I took the Uber back, and by the time I got home, it was four. It was four. Uh, okay. And apparently we smelled like drunken sailors, my husband said. <laughs> What's with the smell? <laughs> well, that would be your wife. Right? <laughs> so crazy. Glad you had a good time. Yeah, next time all three of us will have that much no, fun. No, I'm not. Come on, nope, Samantha. I don't do and that And you don't know, no, she has a system, hey? She has a, she has a system. There was no hangover. There was no dehydration. She has a system. Okay. Yeah, you just do her steps. Mm -hmm. It's like the hot immersion therapy, right? Like with her baby sweaty hands. Uh -huh. You just, you do what the HHG says and somehow she gets you through okay. Okay. I'm just saying. Right. Okay, so. Did you see the picture that I sent you? Yeah, apparently it's a bread pillow. It's a baguette. It's a bread body pillow. But it's the size of a baguette, but a little fatter. But a you, little fatter. What do you think of that? A little fatter. Uh, 
I don't think I need to hug a bread. No, it's no, you're not hugging a bread. You're just being really with one with the bread. No, I don't want to hug bread. But it's a pillow. Yeah, I don't care. What if it was a potato? No. If it really, if yeah. it looked like like a spud, that would be weird. Okay, but but I it's... don't need to hug food. But <laughs> I don't. I don't need to oh. hug food. But the thing, and then they also have just a normal size pillow too. No. 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 Uh, mm. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm against it. But you're like a bread toucher by nature. Oh, I'm a connoisseur so of bread. I feel like a bread pillow would be right up my alley. Would make sense. Yeah. So you could just cuddle, squeeze it. Anytime. I would squeeze and oh, I would squeeze that <laughs> son of a bitch to death. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd, I'd put it if I can quote Samoa Joe. He's a wrestler. I put it in the coquita clutch. That's like the sleeper hold. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right? And I would oh just be God. like mm, in heaven. And okay. then I would dream about bread all night. Yes, you would. Oh, there, that would, I bet you that would help me sleep. That might. That might help Dreaming me sleep. about bread. Dreaming about bread. Everybody, that maybe, oh my goodness, maybe that's like the key to sleep. We don't need pills. We don't need like the, <laughs> the sounds in our head. Uh-huh. We just need to snuggle up beside our favorite food uh-huh. in a pillow. Yeah, maybe. And call it a night. I think you need that help. I do not. You don't? No. No, because you just fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah, that's like Mike. Mike just falls asleep, too. Yeah. Weird. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. So, I have pigeons on my roof again. Oh. And I wake up to the... Every morning. (laughs) And this is what... Okay. (laughs) And I'm like... Oh, God damn. Yeah. Pigeons. It's a struggle. (laughs) <laughs> it's a struggle, and you know what? My husband has reached his breaking point. Because you have a, you have like a plethora of pigeons. We have. Right? <laughs> I don't know. I just see two. In his mind, in his mind, we're being overrun by pigeons, right? The pigeons have taken over the apartment complex in his mind. Oh my so, god. So, so I guess he's been Pinteresting or something, right? Oh, okay. We work opposite shifts, so we don't see each other all the time. But I guess he's been doing some DIY daytime projects. Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't know this, but Sunday, because always when I get home, right, like it's getting dark, so he's got the blinds closed and all that sort of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So Sunday morning, right, I get up, blinds are open. What the hell happened to my patio? My patio. So first off, why? And he's still sleeping, right? So I'm just staring at it. And I'm like, huh, hmm, why is my barbecue in the middle of the patio where it's usually like in the corner? Uh Uh-huh. Why are there probably 15 of those um, those things that spin on a stick? The pinwheel. The pinwheels. And why are they attached to the railing of my <laughs> patio? Oh, then Mike kind of stumbles out of bed. Hey, I'm like, what, what, what have you done? What is this? Well, it's the pigeons. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the pigeons off because we don't want the pigeons having babies on our patio. No, oh my God. He's got special mats that have honey and cayenne pepper on it. Because he read that pigeons <laughs> don't like that. Okay. Well, guess a lot of neither does your wife. I'm not really excited about it either, right? So a couple oh. years ago we had the bees, we uh-huh. had the wasps. Yeah. We're just them, but now now we're just luring them with the honey. <laughs> he's so convinced, Mr. Pigeon Man. He's Mr. Pigeon. Oh my God. Yeah, he's Mr. Pigeon Samantha. That is so sad. It's so ridiculous. So sad. I'm like, I wonder how much money you spent on your project. Oh, God. Right? Because he's not going to the dollar store. No. He's going to the Canadian Tire <laughs> or the Walmart or the Lowe's, right? Oh, exactly. Like, he is one He is one bad afternoon with the pigeons away from feeding them bread and bleach. <laughs> he says not enough to kill them, but enough to show them who, who the boss is. Who the boss and they're is. They're not going to want to come back to our, to our patio. He gets very passionate about... He certain takes things because he, he takes it personal, yes, right? Yes, he does. Right, so he to him he's sleeping. The pigeons are making their noise, mm-hmm. and that you wouldn't do that. Why would you do that to somebody who's just worked all night? Well, why are you doing that to a guy? That's what he's thinking. Why are you doing that to a guy? Right, yeah. right. He sprung out of bed <laughs> one morning, like it was his. I was off, and he sprung out of bed at like eight thirty in the morning, and all of a sudden I'm like, "What are you doing? I hear pigeons." Like he's completely, <laughs> he's completely obsessed with them. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But speaking of birds, yeah. Your Jays? Yeah. The last it's... couple games, Samantha, we have looked good. We've won two games in a row. <laughs> it's the first time all year. Okay. So we're going to call this a stretch? Right. <laughs> we're hoping for three tonight. Okay. Right? We're hoping for three. Okay. So so really, do you just need to, like, rain on my parade? <laughs> wow. Right? It's a high because we won two games in a row. 
and now you want to talk about it and that's this is probably not going to keep going <laughs> well i don't know i, I don't think know. i'm going to get us tickets for uh for when we're in ontario oh yeah uh, yeah oh yeah yeah fake fan will have to be there no yes <sighs> Right? What are you going to do? Yes, you will be. You'll be fine. <gasps> we'll look into it. We'll get some cheap nosebleeds. Uh-huh. Yeah, it won't uh-huh. even matter. Uh-huh. I'll just say, no, you know what? They suck. They completely suck. They break my heart every single day. Are you happy? Is that what you wanted to hear? <laughs> right? Is that what you wanted to hear? You win. There's a lot of months of you being not happy. I know, right? <laughs> you win. About to come our way. About to come our way. <laughs> Absolutely there is. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a horrible fire that happened, hey? It is a horrible fire. Like, wow. But... <laughs> But the queen, hey? My girl, she's really upset. She's upset. She's upset. You know what? There's a lot of valuable things in there. Oh, she's almost as old as the... No, she's not. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Just kidding. Right? But... Uh, okay. So God sent a tweet about it. Yeah. I don't think God likes how it's going. No. Right? No. You know? Like, I just feel like as though God is not... Well, he just he just thought that that over a, be- a billion dollars that they raised yeah. to restore the church could be used to I don't know feed the poor. Well, I think I think it was God's opportunity to let the world know that you know um, that that him and Jesus <laughs> believe in 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 kids not starving, <laughs> right? You know, people not going homeless. Yeah, right. And like everybody get a winter coat. Yeah, I think. I think that's where God was going with yeah, that. Yeah, I think there are better things that we can do with that money yeah. than rebuild a church who probably have fire insurance. Dear France, <laughs> where's Flo the insurance lady, right? I'm sure they have some jingle, right? Like, they have to have insurance. They must. As if I have apartment insurance, right? <laughs> and Notre Dame, it's not, Samantha. Notre Dame, it's not. No, not with the meth next door. Not with the meth guy next door, right? <laughs> Right? I don't know if meth was God's choice of drug. Uh, no, I don't right? think so. Maybe weed. Maybe some pot. I don't know. Maybe. Herbs or something. Potentially. But I'm just saying, like, uh-huh. it's like it's so crazy. Like, you can't, like, like imagine how fast that thing goes up. Right? Well, because it was mostly wood. Mostly wood. <laughs> it's mostly wood. An 800-year-old wood is really dry. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Super dry. So it's poof, gone. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. Like... I don't, uh, do they need all that money to restore the church? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's a big job, right? Because they want to restore it back to its old. Oh, dear. But you know what? I always think that maybe it's time for a new, mm, right? I don't know. Do you want to mess with that? I don't know, right? That's the whole thing, right? Like, like, what do you, like, and I'm not super religious by any means, and nor is this a religious podcast, but I'm just <laughs> saying, right? We're just wondering how they got a billion dollars like right. that. Like that when uh, we got kids living on the streets. Well, you can't even raise money for people in, in like third world countries. No, no. Or even in your own country. Right, right. But a billion dollars to save a church. To save a that church. That not everybody gets to go to. Right, like I can't go. No. Can you go? No. No. Well, I have gone. Actually, I was in Paris. Okay, but can you go to the <laughs> service? No. No. But they have beautiful stained glass. And that's and great. And, and, you know, and as God said in his tweet, God God made it pretty, really clear, right? Like, like love the glass. Right? He loves the glass. He's happy. He's happy. Right? But then my other thing, they have all these artifacts in there, right? Uh-huh. Should they maybe be held, housed someplace else? Maybe. Like, maybe, like, I don't know, like in an underground bunker or something? Yeah, but is like it a not storm meant to be shelter? looked at, though? I don't know. Do we, like, maybe, maybe, maybe that's the problem. None of your business. Right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, Samantha. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's weird, though. Yeah. Okay, do you ever do, do you ever um, make, like, tea at home, like, from, like, the... All the time, Lisa. Like, but from, not with from the leaves. Not no. the loose tea? Do you do no. loose tea? You no. just make... I yeah. get you make tea. Yeah. I get you make tea. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever tried the loose tea? No. Why not? I'm lazy. Okay, but there's... Like, I don't want to stuff things th- into a strainer. There's strainers, right? I know. There's... It's so weird. I don't even understand it. There's a strainer <laughs> out that looks like as though it's like a guy taking a piss in the, um, like in a jacuzzi. <laughs> right? He's taking a pee in the cup? A piss in the jacuzzi. That's right. Cause it looks like right, he's all laid back. It looks like he's in a jacuzzi, but he's supposed to be in your teacup. Uh-huh. You put him in your teacup, but he looks like he's in the jacuzzi. But he's a strainer. It comes through as like, it looks like his underpants. His pee pee. His pee pee. And then there are some <laughs> that you put on and it looks like he's like peeing tea. I don't understand that. People like gadgets. I get, uh, do, it's a gadget. Do I get gadgets? Am I a gadget girl? 
I don't think you I, have an English muffin maker. That's not that. You is, have a pizza oven. Those are essential. Those are essential pl- appliances. Seven hundred dollar pots and pans. Don't remind me. That still picks picks my ass. Right? Still picks my ass. That that still makes me super. I think your mad. husband is a gadget. Okay, but I don't think a Man. gadget. A gadget's like like the little knife that tears off the end of the bag of milk. That's a gadget. Yeah. Gadget is like the little thing that, that you put hard-boiled eggs into. Yes. Oh, which reminds me. I'm back on keto. Fuck. I was back on keto. I I boiled... I hard-boiled 12 eggs the other day. 12. Uh-huh. All of the whole... Did you eat all 12? No, I didn't. Because here's the thing, right? As I started to eat... Because they were getting towards the end of the egg. Like, the date was getting towards the end of the egg. Uh-huh. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to hard-boil them. Uh-huh. Right? And then I had like three, uh-huh. and then threw the rest away. What do you do with like nine other hard-boiled eggs? Egg salad. But then your house smells like toots. <laughs> and I don't want to live in a house that smells just, that purposely <laughs> smells like toots. Bad enough, sometimes oh your house can just smell like toots. Uh-huh. Right? Oh, egg, right. Sm- egg salad smells like toots. Yes, it And does. then you put it in your fridge, and then your fridge smells like toots. toots. Right? So. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, it was a lot of wasted I'm eggs. I'm understanding. Where a lot you're of, going. A lot of wasted eggs. Yes. I have a funny, a funny, well, what I didn't think was a funny story, actually. Uh-huh. The other day, I was just, you know how I sometimes just, like, think about things. And I was thinking, because we don't have a dishwasher, right? Uh-huh. We don't need one. It's just no. me and Mike. Uh-huh. And we don't usually eat our meals together, right? So, the other day, I was doing dishes. Because uh, that's me, right? I eat them, and I do the dishes right away. Yes, you do. And I thought, remember back in the 50s when people used to put gloves on? Yes. And the 60s. Uh-huh. And you'd always see like, like, you know, that was the thing. Like Alice from the Brady Bunch had her gloves on her, like, like, like we yellow ones. We used to wear ones. them when we were kids. Did you? Mm-hmm. Okay. And why do people wear them? To protect their hands from the water. From the hot, hot water. Yeah. Right. Why did the water have to be so scorching? Uh, Probably because you were trying to get your dishes clean. Or maybe because the soap wasn't a high quality back then. I don't know. Right. Because I could see that, right? Super hot because the soap's not that good. Maybe. But guess what? Now people still wear them. I was telling this to the HHG, and guess what revelation came out? Mm. The cousins, the sister cousin friends, Uh they wear the gloves. (laughs) They do the dishes with the gloves. I bet they clean with gloves, too. Hmm. Sister cousin friends? Do you clean with the gloves? gloves? We need an answer. (laughs) Go through the HHG and let us know. Do you wash your... Your bathroom down with those gloves on? It's not they. They're not going to be wearing the same gloves. No, but it could be gloves. But it could be gloves. I never even thought I about it. I bet you they. I do. never even thought about housework with gloves. Uh-huh. All right, sister, cousin, friend, <laughs> let us know. Right? We're curious. Yeah. But that's all. And then I was just like, who would even? And then in my mind, I'm like, who would still wear the gloves? Because now we have soap that's really good. Yeah. Does my mom still have them? No. Does she still use them? No. No. No, I don't think so. No, I don't know. But we did at one point. Did you? Mm-hmm. And like, like, y'all just share the gloves? That's gross. I guess so. Or do y'all have your own pair of gloves? No. <laughs> huh. I would want my own. It's just rubber gloves. I know, but everybody's hands are going in there. Everybody's wet, wrinkly, withered up hands are going in. Like, it's just one pair of gloves for the oh family? Oh, my God, yes. No, I don't like that whatsoever, Samantha. You're being weird. I'm not being weird. Yeah, you are. Why is that weird? Because it's just a pair of gloves. Mm. You're not doing anything in the gloves but washing dishes. I know that, but still, it's your hands and my hands and your hands and my hands and you tell two and hands. And his hands and, and they your tell hands two hands. and my hands and yes, your hands. Right? Let's all get together exactly. and wear the same, same rubber gloves. gloves. <laughs> That's yucky. I hate it. <laughs> I don't think it should happen, but it does. <laughs> okay, let's end that. All right, let's end that little segment. I'm just saying. So I'm back on my coleslaw kick. Oh, God, of course you are. But. Because it's almost summer. It's almost summer. But, okay, so remember back, again, it's an, it's another, you know what the episode this is all about? Remember back in the day? <laughs> remember back in the day when the only coleslaw dressing really was craft? Yes. Okay, it's not like that now. No. So you have your craft, yes. right? Have you tried it in a long time? It's a little bit tangy. It's a little bit like, like it hasn't evolved over the years. Uh-huh. Now they have competition. Oh, of course they do. There's a new one that we're using. There's a new one in the Gibson fridge. It's good. I don't remember who it's by, but it's good. So good. How good can it be if you can't Super remember good. the name? I didn't pay attention. I just, you know what I did? I put it on the coleslaw, and I'm like, oh, that's good. Dear, dear Kraft Coleslaw, you need to pick up your game. You need to up your game, right? Because there's, there's, there's new sheriffs in town. There's new sheriffs. Right, and they're not just gonna wait around for oh you. Oh my God! Yeah, new sheriffs. There's in new town. sheriffs, right? 
Okay. I'm just saying. You get so weird about your dressings, too. I know. Because you're all about a sass. Well, I'm going to be, and you know, I'm going to soon be out looking for, like, the, the perfect, the perfect new 2019 summer salad dressing. Well, and the 2019 barbecue sauce. Well, I've already started, right? I'm, I, like last week, I revealed I've been, you know, stocking baby rays. Yeah. So I'll That's find so new ones. Weird. I'll find some new ones to do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? Uh huh. What? Well, John was doing some uh, dude cooking. Was he doing some dude cooking? He was doing some dude cooking. Well, and what was what was he cooking? Well, it's tortellini. Okay, what's a tortellini? With a twist. <laughs> <laughs> What's the tortellini? <laughs> That's like those little, like those little yeah, pastas filled with cheese. Okay. What's the so cheese? it was cheese tortellini. Yeah. He boiled it up. Yeah. But he realized he didn't have any pasta sauce. Oh. That you, no, he didn't think that before he started I to make don't, it. I don't know. Oh, he's not I a didn't Gibson. Ask. Okay. I didn't ask the thought process. Okay. Right. Okay. He's not a Gibson. No, he's not a Gibson. He's not a Gibson. Because Gibson thought process would be a, the pasta sauce would be on the counter waiting. Yes. Yeah. So he put some butter on it and he's like, Nah, that's not gonna be good enough. No. What does he do? He gets barbecue sauce. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So he's a couple of squirts of barbecue yeah. sauce, mixed it on up. Mix, mix, mix. He loved it. Huh. Raved about it. Really? I puked in my mouth. Because I'm like, barbecue sauce and cheese tortellini? Not really understanding. Not a barbecue sauce and a pasta. No. <laughs> no. And then a butter. <laughs> it's a butter. That, you know what? He loved it. He just couldn't get enough of it. I can appreciate the twist. <laughs> But I gotta leave it at that, Samantha. <laughs> but it, that's dude cooking. That is dude cooking. That's totally dude so, cooking. Okay, so then my next question would be, you know how you and I are bad cooks, and we always say that our cooking tastes like necessity. I, I don't think I'm a. Well, I'm not. No, yes, you are. Yes, because eh, you're basic. lazy. You're a lazy cook, right? I'm basic. You're basic, and it needs to be in a package, and and all of that, right? So, we always say that our cooking tastes like necessity. Yes. Okay. Is that worse than than like dude cooking? Are we worse than dudes cooking? No, because, I mean, apparently, dude cooking is Not whatever you got in your fridge. Whatever you got in your fridge. Dump it on your pasta. Yeah. <laughs> mix, mix, mix. Right? I could have seen cheese. Uh, I don't know. If I'm thinking of what's in my fridge, there's other stuff I can see hitting like, the tortellini even, first. Like, if you had put, like, American could, cheese and... Couldn't have made a little roux or a bechamel, <laughs> whatever the hell that shit is, right? Know. But he couldn't have done that. Oh, I don't know. Huh. It was funny, though. Wow. But no, we could be... I think we're, like, worse than dude cooking. I think right? we might be worse than dude cooking, <laughs> right? I, 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 left, I left the package in the turkey, right? Remember? I left the package in the oh, turkey. And I burnt more than one... Right? <laughs> and I just learned how to understand how to make white rice, right? Because I was always, after it boils, you add the rice, yeah. fluff it with a fork. I was always then taking it off the burner no, you and then never on. understanding why it still doesn't taste cooked. So we could be, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I think we could be worse than the dudes. I just maybe don't care. I have a new hobby. Oh, what's that? Napping in my chair. That's not a hobby. Oh, my God. You know, it's my heaven. <laughs> All I want to do is nap in my chair. Uh-huh. It's all, it's like, it's like I'm hibernating, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Okay. Yeah. Just like napping in a chair. Napping in my chair. Like I sit in that chair and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I am done. So fast. So you're napping, you're napping is a matter. hobby. Yeah. Well, that, I, if I, at least if I call it a hobby, then in my mind, I can justify it, right? You're not doing what do you, anything yeah, important. Yeah. What, what are you working on on your day off? I'm just working on my hobby, right? <laughs> I'm just putting a little, yeah, I'm spending a little time with my hobby today. <laughs> Samantha, I sit down. Uh-huh. Like, I'm going to be the person at some point that, like, burns things down. Because I'm gonna have, I'm gonna start something on the stove, uh-huh. right? While it, while it's and cooking, and I'm gonna sit and just like, boom. Done. Done. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right? Doesn't matter what time. It doesn't, it just doesn't matter. Okay. I'll say to Mike, do you want to watch a show? Yep. Turn, and then, and, and then he turns it on and I'm like, ah, done. And then he's like, and then, and then I, and then you know how, then I go through the lie, right? And he's like, yeah. do you need to nap? No, I was just blinking. <laughs> Seems like a long blink, and then he'll quiz me. Well, what, what, oh, uh, what was the last part? Mm. <laughs> Gone. Gone. Don't know. Done. I don't know. Uh oh. Yeah. Some sad news. Uh oh. Some sad news what? this week. What? Georgette. Oh, from Mary Tyler Georgette Moore. Georgette from Mary Tyler With Moore. With his soft voice. With her, so- she was married to Murray. 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 She died. She died. She did. She did. She did. Like Mary. Uh huh. Right? 
dead. That's all I got to say. Is Mary about that. dead too? Hi, a couple years ago, Mary died. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I forgot that. Where have you been? I don't know. Apparently, somewhere. who can turn the world on with a <laughs> smile? Who can take a nothing day and suddenly? Hey, James G saying this the other day out of the out of out of nowhere. Hey, at work. Oh my god. Yeah, and she's like, "It's you, girl, and you should know it." <laughs> <laughs> with each passing i don't know love is all around you no need to worry or something like that really yeah we're gonna make it after all okay hhg broke into song and i'm like that's so funny that is weird yeah you don't so know the weird. theme to mary tyler Moore? no i do not wow yeah and cause... you call yourself a 50 year old woman i don't think so Whatever. i don't think so uh-huh <laughs> what sopranos but you, cool. keep, you keep looking at me like like, I'm not sleeping in the car. I'm I with you. <laughs> right? Like, like, I'm not going to sleep in the car, Smith. I sleep okay. in my chair. Okay. Yeah, Smith. Yeah. The Sopranos prequel. Yeah. Okay. So, you weren't a Sopranos fan. Nope. I not love gonna watch this. I loved that show with all my heart. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Right? Uh-huh. Gibson's watched it faithfully and have many, many, many times over. I was, like, binge watching before binge watching was even cool. Right? I'm just saying. <laughs> Right? Dear binge watchers, you're welcome. Right? Because <laughs> it was me and the Sopranos. Uh-huh. Okay. So now they're doing, and then and then Tony, then they were ending the show, and they ended the last show not knowing what was going to happen. Right? Uh-huh. And then and then James Gandolfini had a heart attack and died. Unfortunately. Yeah. Super. And like, not that old. Right? No. So he died. But now they're doing a prequel, and his son is, pl- and prequel, Samantha, that's like before the. Yes. Thank okay. you for sharing. So it's the younger version. Stop it. Okay. I'm just saying. So now they're doing a prequel uh-huh. and his son is playing, is playing him. That's cool. Yeah. But I don't think I'm a fan of when the show can't go any further. Uh-huh. I don't think you should do anything with it. You should you, go backwards. You need to leave the masterpiece alone. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think you should go backwards. I don't think you should go forwards. I mm-hmm. think it needs to just Because who's, who's writing the prequel? I don't know. I don't pay Same attention. Same writers of The Sopranos? I would think so. Yeah. Would make sense. But do we need a prequel? No. Right? Not always. Do we need to know what happened before? Mm-hmm. You know, Not you really. grew up. Yeah, your daddy was a mobster. You yeah. took over the family. Well, it's like Batman. Do you need to know what happened before Not he became really. Batman? But what did happen before he became Batman? He saw bats. Oh, okay. Yeah, he got scared of bats. Like the Joker, right? Like the Joker just got like was just a messed up dude. Yeah. Do we care? No. I don't care about the past. No, he's messed up. He's messed up. That's all you need to know, That's right? All you need to so know. Sopranos, all you need to know, he's a crime boss. Right? <laughs> he's not getting his hands dirty. He goes bad. He, he goes bad, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Something happened and he took a left turn instead of a right. Spoiler alert. <laughs> right? He, he go goes, bad. He go bad. Right? Spoiler alert. <laughs> he kills. <laughs> Spoiler alert, he's... People wear cement boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? There's this... I, I couldn't... I can't watch... I couldn't watch you The couldn't, Sopranos. I tried to get you Because to. I kept having nightmares. I know, right? Because you're sensitive that yeah, way. Yeah, it was really weird. I've seen that... I've seen them all. Binge. All the all the crime and all the crap. Yeah, I all couldn't of deal I with know, it. I know, <laughs> I know. I'm sensitive that way. You are. You're super sensitive, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Excuse me. Still getting over your cold? Little yeah, bit. I'm, there's something around here that's just making me something go crazy. in our new area. We haven't even told people where we're at. We're at, we're um, like, like you know, if somebody was to drive by, they'd think it was creepy. That's yeah. where we're at. We're at like where people would think we're creepy. We're at the football field. We're at the football field with a hockey thing and a baseball thing. Yeah, and a, and a thing. And a thing. Yeah, we're like in a big sports and some trees are near us. Thing. Yeah, it's weird. You wanted to come here. Yep. Right, because it's closer to drop me off. Because you got to be in bed by ten. Shut up. That's your thing. Uh-huh. I'm just saying. Okay, so on Sundays, if you're not working, are you dressed comfy? Yeah. Like, or even like, or maybe even just staying in your pajamas or whatever. No, I usually go into a sweatpants and Do a ya? t-shirt. Yeah. And okay. Chill. What What I don't get is what men do. Okay. Men, like my man, he puts on his jeans, his belt, his t-shirt, like every other day. I'm like. You don't have like a comfy day, and he says he's in his comfy day. <laughs> Isn't that weird? My dad's the same way though. Right? Yeah, he hey? wears like jeans and a belt and a t-shirt and every day. Yeah. And they're comfy. Yeah. Till they go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> I don't understand that. No. Right? Seems like a lot of <laughs> uncomfortableness for just a short amount of time. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And like, like I'm like, you know what, Mike? Like even like leave the belt off or something on Sunday, right? Like. Right? Like, just leave the belt off or no socks. I don't know. Leave the belt off. But no, everything's still. Like, it doesn't matter Wednesday, Tuesday, Sunday. Yeah. Right? For me at home on my day off, 
you can tell it's my day off. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> the girls hang low. Do they wobble to and fro? Oh, my can God. Can you time in right? a knock? Can you time in a bow? The girls <laughs> hang low. The minute I get home, the girls are hanging low. Right? That's what happens. Right? Do you not do that? When you walk in, like, okay, you get home. <laughs> girls hang Stop low. Singing. Do they do <laughs> Stop can singing. Stop singing. Right? Can you time in a bow? Okay, Samantha, can you concentrate? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question here. Uh, why? Okay? Okay. I wear a sports bra. You go home, so you take your bra off. And put on a sports and bra. Put on, when you're home alone? Yeah. I don't do that all the time. Yeah. Sometimes I don't. Mm-hmm. I feel uh, I feel like mm, sometimes they need a little support after the fact. After the fact. So not as much support. Yeah. Just like less support. Yeah. Huh. So the HHG said today that she stays in her bra till bed. She's a monster. No, she's a mother. That's why. That's the difference because she's somebody's mom. What right? does that And then you know what she said? She goes, she goes, people don't need to see that. And I'm thinking in my mind, <laughs> this is what I'm thinking in my mind, right? I'm like, you know what? It's their job to see it. If they're part of the family, they're going to see it. That's what I'm saying. You know? That's funny. Uh-huh. So she stays bound up, hey? She stays bound. Huh. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's unfortunate. Good for her. Hey, speaking of wearing bras, yeah. did you see the... The thing that Jenna, the dirty hippie, posted on Facebook Which? about the young girl in Regina who was suspended from high school nope. because she wasn't wearing a bra. No, I didn't see that. But yeah. I think she should be in a bra. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? You, like, like, you got to wear your bra in public, kids. Like, right? Shit. You got to wear your bra. <laughs> right? I get it. Oh. But in public? I don't know. Don't you think you got to wear your bra? The girl made a point. What was her point? The fact that she just doesn't feel comfortable wearing a bra. And... Like medical reasons? No, just she didn't. She didn't want to wear a bra? Didn't want to wear a bra. Huh. And she's young, so she doesn't have to. How young? Well, she's like a teenager. No, I think she should be wearing a bra. <laughs> I think she should be wearing a bra. I'm going to say. Right? What did my mom say? You got two things to make mom proud in life, and you did to do two, two things. Graduate high school and wear a bra in public. Right? I'm just saying. Maybe the times are changing. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, maybe. It seems odd. I don't know. But, you know, people are very free with their body parts. They are. They are. And, I mean, I get that. But I think even in the 70s, they wore a bra. No, they did not. Bigger girls did. <laughs> Bigger girls wore a bra. Right? And then that brings the whole, oh, so we discriminating. So if you're a certain size, you got to wear a bra. That's a slippery slope. It's a can of worms I don't want to get into. Okay. I'm just saying, for the yeah. record, wear a bra. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I want to get a new pet. I want a new pet. You, can, Your husband doesn't even want you to have a cat. I know that. Because he knows that you will not be taking care of I want of a thing. guinea pig. What? I want a white guinea pig that has little bits of brown on it. And its name's going to be Piggy. <laughs> Right? And he's so cute. I already you see him. You are not taking care of a smelly guinea pig. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, because I will love it. <laughs> yes, I will love it. I will love the guinea pig. <laughs> Samantha, I will love that guinea pig so much. I saw somebody on Facebook, and she had a picture, and, it, and her picture had a little guinea pig, and the little guinea pig was snuggled up underneath her chin. I'm uh-huh. like, aww. aww. I want a guinea pig. Can I get a guinea pig? Why? Ask your husband. I'm going he's to. He's going to say no. <sighs> You Jerk. know he's going to say no. I will take care of it. No, you will not. It'd be easier to take care of than a cat. <laughs> no, it won't. Yes, it will. <laughs> no, it won't. Yes, and I haven't even been given a chance to try with a cat. So <laughs> to just jump to the conclusion and assume that I can't, oh, yeah, that's yeah. not really that fair to me. Thank you. Uh-huh. I'm just saying. Well, thank God you don't like dogs. Well, yeah, I like dogs, but I don't, like, want to own a dog, uh-huh. right? Dogs are a more work. They're a lot of work, right? And then they're always there. Right? Cats at least will fuck off and go and be by themselves, right? Cats, at least they're just going to use and abuse. Cats will. Right? That's what I'm saying, right? They, they'll oh fuck God. off and leave you alone. Right? They want as little to do with you as you want to do with them. No, my cat had a lot to do no, with No, your me. cat was horrible. My cat loved your me. Your cat, yeah, and he showed it, didn't he? Right? <laughs> Right, you would go away on holidays, and I remember I'd, really mad I'd you, go though. check on the cat, and it'd yeah. be like, yeah, okay, so I'm leaving the cat shit for somebody else to deal with. <laughs> no, it was just a bad cat. Okay, but my question with the dogs uh-huh. is, what did we do before there were dog groomers? We cleaned our dogs ourselves. 
I don't know, like, 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 because now it's like, it's like an essential service, right? Like, like, oh my God, I'm a pet owner. What am I going to do? Bobby's school's canceled because there's a storm. Fluffy needs a haircut. <laughs> oh my God, the world's going to end. Like, what did we do before Fluffy could get a haircut? I don't know. Like, did we cut Fluffy's hair ourselves? I, it's possible. I don't know. Or like, were dogs just nasty and gnarly back then? Mm, potentially. Because do we care what they look like? Apparently we do. But like, to what extent? I don't know. Like, like, I don't know. Do you not think it's odd? Well, I think dogs should look clean. They need to be clean, yes. Yeah. And I get you gotta clip their nails because that's healthy. Uh -huh. But what what did we you do? Have to drain their <laughs> have to drain their anal glands. Ew, who does that? <laughs> who does that? Like the vet. The vet. Yeah, that's the I vet's guess it's job. really gross. <laughs> it's your anal gland. So why would you not think it would be anything other oh than God. really gross? Yeah. Right? It's gross. You're a little bit gross for even no, talking about that right now. Because I, I remember, I think it was either uh, Pixie got it done, my mom's dog. Why do you got to drain their anal glands? I don't know. Something something about it. And then it makes me think, why don't they have to, why don't we have to get our anal glands drained? Ew. Ew. Well, what's the difference? We're all mammals. <laughs> right? Maybe, I don't know. maybe we're missing out on something. No, I don't feel we are. Huh? No, I I'm really just don't. thankful that as that that as as humans we have the toilet paper, so we don't have to scoot across the carpet. Scoot, right? Dragging our asses because we didn't get all the shit off them. That's what dogs do. That's what they do. I remember one time we had like little muffin and we were at Uncle Bob's and he had fancy carpet and little oh. muffin had gone outside and Uncle Bob was getting old a little bit crazy so he wasn't paying attention. Little muffin had gone outside and all of a sudden it's like, Mom, she's scooting and she was scooting across the fancy carpet. And, Get the dog, right? Like all hell was breaking loose. Get the dog, right? Yeah. And I don't know if muffin was scooting because he had shit on his ass or if it was just like a really nice feeling, maybe really nice feeling carpet. Who knows? Woo! Scoot on the know. anal glass. Right? <laughs> I know I want to Google that, right? Because we must have anal glands. Too. I don't want to know. Well, we have to. I'm good. They have to. Uh huh. Yeah. Did Let's you speak of oh. that? Oh. Oh. So gross. Seventeen. Feet Seventeen feet of a python in Florida. Blech. No, the grossest part is that it had seventy-three eggs in it. So there was seventy-three chances for more. For more. I oh, that's would. Gross drop dead would like, what would you do out. what would you do i'd freak out yeah and it was just like slithering because it's this area i guess like in the everglades uh -huh. where and they say like some like those anacondas like they could swallow me and you they can grow to be like <laughs> like you know those goldfish that grow to be big uh -huh. it's like that with a snake yeah only like they're big is like so 17 feet so so like that's like a million of us it's like a million of us. What? It's close. It's a hundred of us. It's, it's a hundred of us. That snake is from, it's a hundred of us lined up. I guarantee it. Or that's what the hell it would feel like. That's, that's what it would be feeling like a hundred okay. of us. All right. Oh, I saw that picture and I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> Who creates that? Um, and what's its nature? purpose? What's its purpose? I don't know. To eat things? Like. And apparently have 73 eggs. Oh, you imagine like birthing 73 things. <laughs> so disgusting. I just saw it. And I thought it was gross. Yeah. Yuck. Just so gross. But hey, woohoo, Tiger Woods. Speaking of another animal. No, <laughs> this man deserves. No, no. You be careful because you're not a sports fan. I am a golf fan. I watched all of the golfing. Right. Oh my God. And he went into Sunday. Can you in calm second. down? No, because it was so. That's the whole problem, Samantha. Because you don't know sports, <laughs> so you can't even appreciate how monumental this all is. Well, apparently, it was very monumental. He hadn't won in 13 years. I know. A because you heard it on the news. That's why you know. Well, that's the point of hearing. The I news. know that, but if you you don't understand how hard it is to win, to get the green jacket, right? Well, he hadn't been doing nothing for like 13 no, years because he'd been bad and then he was hurt and then he was probably bad again and he, <laughs> and he loved waffles, right? And then, and then he started and then he got hurt again, uh -huh. but like, coot to tiger. Uh -huh. Yeah. Apparently he looked so like exciting. the old tiger. He did look like the old tiger and then, oh, and then it was so hard touching because they showed a picture of tiger winning his first masters uh -huh. him hugging his dad oh. and then they showed him winning this and it was his little boy hugging him Aww. oh exactly right that like so cute here's my heartstrings just tug on them a little bit <laughs> oh but it was so good you know what i'm all for people who have worked hard to get back yeah 
and win. Yeah. I'm all for that. Yeah. It was awesome. Congratulations, Tiger Way Woods. Way to go, Tiger Woods. From two girls in the car. Two girls in Saskatoon. <laughs> two girls in Saskatoon. <laughs> Who don't play golf. Well, but I used to golf. Oh, I used to golf. I used to be in a ladies' league back oh, in Oh, good God. Be. Don't start. Yeah. <laughs> Hung up the... <laughs> put my clubs away. <laughs> I did. I was part of one. Stop. Yes, I was, Samantha. Oh, my God. Right? Not all my secrets have been unveiled in our 20 years of friendship. Yeah, okay. Okay, question. What's a gyro? A gyro. A what? A gyro. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Gyro? It's a sandwich. Like? It's Greek. It's mm. like meat on a rotisserie. No, that's shawarma. No, it's the same that's thing. Shwarma. So shawarma and gyro are the same? No, they're not. What's the difference? Well, one is like beef and the other is like pork or chicken. Huh. So. But shoved in a pita. No, shawarma can be in a pita. I know. I've seen shawarma in a pita. I know. Right? Shawarma, it looks just like a gyro. Okay. Is it not? I'm not fighting you on this because I don't care. I don't care. Do you like gyros? I don't know. I've never had one. You never had a gyro? No. I've seen you eat shit. And, I've seen you eat meat and pitas. Is that a gyro? It's not the same thing. That's just a shish kebab. I don't know. What is it? What's the What's the shish kebab? Where does it fit in? It's so you have a your gab- shawarma. It's a kebab. So you have your shawarma, you have your gyro, <laughs> and you have your kebabs, right? And a, a doner. Whoa, what is that? It's a different thing. What is it though? I don't know. Are they like? Is it like what makes it? Is like? Is it like? Is it that similar to like burrito and taco? Like, like they're all a kind of. A burrito and a taco are two totally different things. But they're kind things. of from the same. They're from the same they're family. F- maybe. They're like cousins. Potentially. Right, like they're cousins. So is a gyro the cousin of the donaire? Is this like the cousin sister friends? No, those are just friends. <laughs> to Michelle, <laughs> to me, they're cousins first, then they're sisters, and then they're friends, and then they're friends, right? <laughs> yeah. I think we added the sisters. No, I, I think, think that's you. us. I think I added the sisters. I think they were always just. I think. I think they started friends, Cause, cousins. Because it's cousin, 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 cousin. Cause, well, I don't know how you got sisters out of that. Because they're not I related just, that way. I think I just threw that in. I think you're yeah. not trying to fit in with the cousins, and the, so then I call them my cousin sister friends. So to me, they're my cousin sister friends. To her, they're her friends. Oh my god. That happen to be cousins. Okay. I don't know. It's All crazy. Right. Okay. So. You know how sometimes I'll share with you, like, Lisa and Mike angst? Yes. Okay. So, the tall man was having some angst. Uh Uh-huh. He was not having his best day. He was not living his best life. Uh Uh-huh. He was having a bitter life. He was being a little... What what was it that you were last week? I was being unkind. He was being a little unkind. (laughs) And I had to remind him, it's a new phrase alert, friends of the podcast. Uh Uh-huh. It's okay to be mad at life. But don't be mad at your wife. But not at your wife. Don't be mad at your wife. Right? Be mad at life. Not your wife. Not your wife. <laughs> he seemed to be blurring them a little bit. Right? He seemed to be getting it confused. <laughs> they sound similar. Right? So I can see. Right? But then I had to. So in this, it was the next day I had to. I just had to, you know, kind of tippy toe back into that conversation. <laughs> tippy toe. And then he revealed that he was mad at life. Oh, okay. So then I had to say to him, and that's fine. You can be mad at life. Uh-huh. But you can't be mad at wife. <laughs> When wife didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Just saying. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. And apparently your old email is haunting you. I'm getting like ghost, like ghost emails. From your old. From my old job. So my old Jack Fair job, right? That is like tits up. It's done. <laughs> done almost a year ago. Right? Bankrupt. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Not existent. Nope. Once a week I get a message in my Yahoo account telling me to order some stuff online from Jack Fair. Really? And it's last year's stuff. Oh. And how do I know that? Because I was there. Yeah. Right? So I know the yellow dress. Last year's. Uh, Isn't it weird? That's a little weird. Like, I don't know. Like, somebody didn't close off their account or maybe. something, maybe. I don't know. That's so weird. I know, right? Uh-huh. Did you uh, get rain on your side of the city today? Uh, yeah, I drove in rain to pick you up, Lisa. I know, because it's umbrella weather. <laughs> it's umbrella weather. <laughs> right? And I thought this morning, you know what? I should bring my umbrella. You're in a and car. Why do you need your umbrella umbrella in a car? Mm, I don't. I just don't like precipitation of any kind. No, makes your hair all wavy. Yeah, right? all curly like it is now. Mm, Kinky. I I just don't like being wet. Well, nobody wants to be. But you're in your shacket. So your not know what other jacket to wear. Lisa. You don't have like a. You don't have like a. For umbrella um, uh, umbrella umbrella weather umbrella weather umbrella weather. Yeah. I don't have an appropriate jacket. Huh. I need it to just be summer. Yeah, not quite yet, my friend. I We're know. in umbrella weather now, and uh, you got, I got to carry mine with me because I'm going to get wet because I walk. 
Right. I take the bus and I walk. But do you have an umbrella? I have an umbrella. Uh -huh. Yeah, I do. Do you carry it with you? Like, not all the time. If it looks like it's, like, if there's a chance of. Uh -huh. Right? I do. And if there is, uh, if there's, like, angry looking sky in the morning, I take it. Yeah, but I'm lucky because where I work, uh -huh. right inside the bay, uh -huh. if I happen to forget it, I could buy one. How Get many expensive. umbrellas do you think you're gonna buy? No, I just only have one now. But sometimes what happens is when it's super, like super, um, like windy, uh -huh. it breaks your umbrella. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. And there's certain, you know, I like there's certain things that I like an umbrella, and some things I don't like about an umbrella. So. <laughs> I don't like the. I don't. I don't want to get into it. I'm just saying it's, it's umbrella weather, right? It's umbrella weather. Right. It needs a good strong shaft. Uh huh. Said every woman. Oh my god. Said every woman everywhere. <laughs> needs a good sturdy shaft, oh Samantha. Oh my god. That's what it needs. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm just saying. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Why do you keep looking at me? Frozen yogurt. Yeah. What's wrong with that? I don't like. You know what? You were gonna Pat, tell me a story. I don't like how you are right now. <laughs> I do. I am not appreciating it because you keep looking like, do I got food on my face? Yes. Do I really? No, you don't. Why are you just staring at me? Because. Because of my, what? I this just, is your story. I know that. I don't know anything about it. And you I wouldn't just, talk to me about I it. I just want there to be frozen yogurt. Just like you wanted ice cream? Sometimes, Lisa, you don't get what you want. Samantha. Here's the thing, right? Where I grew up, we had like Mr. Norms and Mr. Norms first. And then it became Mr. Norms nephew because Mr. Norm died, right? Because he got uh -huh. old, right? And it was like frozen yogurt shack. And what they did is they took like a block of vanilla yogurt. They put it in the machine uh -huh. and you could pick from a bajillion. And this is before frozen yogurt was cool. You could pick from a bajillion different flavors, right? Uh -huh. So I would always go, we would go and I'd be like, okay, I always want my frozen yogurt in a cup. And I would get it with coffee, a scoop of coffee, a scoop of cinnamon, some, some almonds. And you could pick all these great things, not just fruit, not just fruit like today. Oh, I'll have strawberry. Oh, I'll have, I'll have like kiwi in it. Uh -huh. Right. You could pick all these like, like really, really, and like a fudgio cookie. And all, and then they grind it all together. Uh -huh. That's what I want. Okay. And then the HHG said today we should have, uh, we should open up a yogurt store with wine flavored yogurt. <laughs> right? I'm like, bet you that would sell though. Hey? That would sell. That would sell really good, wouldn't it? So that lady's always thinking. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Are you all ready for tomorrow? <sighs> yeah, I guess so. Just like that? Yeah. Really? Apparently. Just like that. Yeah. You have floor seats to your boyfriend Michael Bublé. Yeah. And that's. <sighs> Like that. Well, because there's going to be a lot of people. Well, you know what? Unfortunately, we could not afford a party for two. <laughs> right? Right? We saved and we saved and we saved. Oh, I know. But we just couldn't we couldn't couldn't make ends meet that yeah. way. Yeah. There's no, going to be cool. It'll be fun. How are you gonna How are you gonna wrap your brain around people? Uh, I'm gonna pretend that I'm. I don't know. Really? I'm gonna pretend they're not there. How? Don't do that with me though, because I'm there. I'm there with yeah, you. Yeah, because you're going to make me carry all your goddamn food. No, I'm going to make you carry... Yeah, we're yeah, going to make you help. I would help you. No, you would if not. If you have food... You make me carry your shit all the time. I will. Be... And again, this is why the HHG is very helpful as the third person. Because <laughs> <laughs> Lisa needs more help, right? Lisa needs more help. <laughs> Samantha, all I'm saying, right, is we'll get a box that holds the food. Uh-huh. And if we need two boxes, then we'll each... I I'll carry the pop. I am eating that much food. Well, I... I, I know that you will eat I that will. much food, I or will. at least you will attempt. I'm going to attempt because it's rink food, and that's my favorite food. Yeah. It's my favorite restaurant is the rink. <sighs> right? I don't understand. Like, remember how fast those I plowed? Those were gross. Oh, how fast did I plow through those? You plowed through two of and them. And I think I said to you, I could have had a third. Oh. I could have done it. I don't even. Easily. No, I don't understand. Really? Yes. And then the fries, and then you put too much vinegar on the fries, and it's like, mm, and then the bottom of the fries jar is coming out because they're so, so good. Right? You're so weird. <laughs> oh, like, like I'm going to have a tea tomorrow. And that's probably it. No, you got to eat something. I might have a half a peanut butter and jam sandwich uh, in the morning. And then I'm like waiting for supper. Yeah. Do you think Michael Buble will be on daytime TV? Like, like in Saskatoon? Yeah. Do, you think do so? we have daytime TV in Saskatoon? Oh, like, like during one of the morning shows or the afternoon Like the show. Saskatoon ones? Yeah. Like or do you think, like, or do you think or he's like going to be like global? Like, like on like with like, hi, I'm Michael. Come or do you think he's going to be on with Hoda and say, oh, I got to go. Hoda, I got to go to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. <laughs> no, he's in Edmonton right now. Yeah, I know. Um, Maybe he might be like, I don't know, like probably like, not. Like with Jeff Rogstag or something. No. I don't know. Oh, he's a dork. Don't. Okay. Well, so much. We won't be giving him a plug. <laughs>
right? <laughs> no plug in him, that's for sure. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't. Does he do that? I don't know. Does he do that? Sort I don't of thing? know. It just seems kind of odd. It's kind of weird that he would do it. I think. Um, but, but it would be kind of cool if he did. Yeah. Wouldn't it? But okay, because daytime TV it needs help. It needs a lot of help, it Samantha. So I felt. It like. Well, okay. I have some different opinions, okay. but yes, it does need some help. Okay, but you know. <laughs> When I was Googling, yes, that's what I do. Well, the Urban Dictionary has a definition of okay, daytime what do you, the TV. Okay, with the Urban Dictionary? Yeah. Yeah. Because it was funny. Okay. According to the Urban Dictionary, it defines daytime TV as a bland, nauseating mix of courtroom TV, televangelists, tawdry talk shows, tawdry, tawdry, infomercials, moldy game shows, depressing news stories, gag-worthy soap operas wow. that... Seems Lower jaded. The already low standard televised church services, um, inaccurate weather forecasts, increasingly vacant programs for pre-K children, and instructional quilting and slash home improvement programs. The TV equivalent of cold old meal or cafeteria food. Which I love both. That is the Urban Dictionary. Okay. So <laughs> I think I think Mr. Urban, I think that you're sounding a little jaded. <laughs> Do you I th- think? I think you're sounding a little jaded, oh, right? Oh my god, that's I, funny. Okay, I think that there's lots of issues, but it's funny, right? Because because they say <clears throat> that that it used to always be um, like the stay-at-home mom that watched it, right? Yeah. But do you, which is still true to an extent, but now mm-hmm. the stay-at-home mom, she likes, she wants a little more credit. Well, she's busy, right? She doesn't want to just be thought of as like barefoot and pregnant. That stay-at-home mom, this right? This is true. Okay, but there's also 1.8 million dollars. 1.8 million dollars in my mind. 1.8 million. Uh, stay-at-home dads oh so they got not a, cha- a lot though hey well i don't know 1.8 million i mean i guess not out of the size of america america but it's still not bad so so that's why some of the shows like the court shows and that are popular are big. is because of the stay-at-home is that dads. why dr phil's still on i don't think that's the dads no does it even make sense why dr phil's on no not really no do you know that like okay so Judge Judy gets 9.9 million views. She is so popular. A day. A day. Her and Ellen. Her and Ellen. Top two shows. I know. Right? Family Feud. And then Family Feud. (laughs) 5.9. But that's with Steve Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's funny. Yeah, he's funny. He's funny. And Dr. Phil gets 3.8 million. I I don't understand Dr. Phil. I I only watch Dr. Phil. I'll go to the guide and I'll check Dr. Phil. And if it's like serial killer, I'll watch it. (laughs) If it's something really compelling... I'll watch it, right? Okay, because I I think daytime TV is only interesting from eight to eleven. Why do you say that? Maybe past noon. That's it. Yeah. Why? Because I that? actually typically I don't watch the soap operas because I find them boring. I watch Wendy wow. Williams. That's that dead silence was on I purpose. <laughs> I know wow. it breaks breaks your heart. And then sometimes the game shows are interesting, but you know what? The one game show I really really hate. What one? Is um, do you want to be a millionaire? Because you're not smart. No, I hate it. You're not smart. I hate the concept of it. Why? Because I love Jeopardy. You're not smart at Jeopardy, though. I don't want to be smart. I like the entertainment factor. You like the entertainment factor of Jeopardy. Yeah. Oh, and Mental Samurai I enjoy on primetime. That's fine, but... Yeah, I enjoy it. But the millionaire show is interest. I don't I don't hate it. I think it's interesting. You get options. No, you I don't. You should feel smarter. No. Do you know I that... I think it's boring. Mm. I don't know. I think there needs to be more game shows. Uh-huh. Do you know that the average age of people watching The View is 60? Yeah, no, that kind of makes sense. And the Price is Right, 64. That's the game show that needs to get better. The Price is Right. Yeah. Like, don't you remember, like, every sick kid used to watch this. Like, you spent every sick day as a kid watching The Price is Right. Yeah, but it's interesting. You and Bob Barker. Yeah. 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 Better than Millionaire? Mm, yeah, for sure. Mm, I don't know. Way more entertaining. Okay. Do you know, I have a list of the oldest running daytime TV shows. Oh, okay. Okay. No particular order, though, Uh because that's not how I roll. Uh Okay. Young and the Restless, soap Uh opera, 43 years. Price is Right, 44 years. Sesame Street, 46. Oh, yeah. Scooby-Doo, 27 years. Scooby-Doo. Right? Days of Our Lives, another soap, 51 years. Uh And my soap, General Hospital, 50 years. It just did 50 years. Huh. Isn't that crazy? That's a little weird. Yeah. Okay. Top five daytime sh- shows, Samantha? Uh-huh. Ellen. Yeah. Judge Judy. Oh, yeah. Dr. Phil. Uh. Price is Right. Yeah. Live with Kelly and Ryan. Oh, 
Oh, yay! I need to be happy. What, what? And then two honorable mentions in the top 20. Uh-huh. Uh, Wendy Williams. Yeah. Number nine. Yeah. Which I thought she should be higher. Yeah. 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 Because, hi, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? She's been on for 10 years. And she's wonderful. Yeah. Like, you want comedy. She's, she's funny. I mean, and she used to be a stand-up comedian. Yeah. But she's she's funny. She's very and funny. And number 18 is General Hospital. Yeah, yeah. That's my honorable mentions, yeah, yeah. right? But you were saying that uh, you think that daytime TV is only good between certain hours. Yeah. Well, I disagree. I think it's good all the time. No, I think it's boring. So. And the only, and then you're only getting de- semi-decent talk shows in the afternoon because you get Ellen. Yeah. Right? But that's not really a talk show. That's kind of more like a variety show. Mm. It's a talk show. Mm. And then you get the talk, and then you get Rachel Ray. Weren't you just mad at the talk and, today? Yeah. Weren't you mad at the talk? I was mad at them because they talked about Wendy Williams right. as if Wendy hadn't been honest with the world about what was going and on And all her. she's doing is all being she honest does is with tell the people. world. All she does is tell people. Right? She just told the world that she's divorcing her jackass husband. Yeah. Right? And then the week before that, she told everybody she lived in a sober house. And the week before that, she told everybody, yeah, you know what? I got myself into trouble. Like, yeah. Like, so here's my sleeve. My life is on it. Yeah. Right? So back off, bitches. Back off the talk, bitches. This naughty people. Yeah. Don't, right? don't mess with Wendy. Don't mess with don't Wendy. Don't mess with Wendy. Don't mess with Wendy. She's my girl. So, so do you have like a certain routine that you do, like that you, that you scroll through on your day, if your day off is on a weekday? Uh-huh. And what is it? Um, if I'm up early enough, I start with Wendy Williams. Yes. And then Why if I... Why don't you just PVR her like the Gibson? I think do. I might have to. You need a little Wendy. Well, you do. Right? You need a little Hot Topics. Yeah. If I don't catch Wendy, I catch live with Ke- uh, Kelly and Ryan. Yeah. Um, not always great, but... Most of the time. Mm-hmm. When and then, Ryan's not there. Yeah. And then I have to skip because I hate watching The View. I don't find it in... Ugh. You don't like The View? No. No. Too much politics. Yeah. Because I'm just like, no, DFC, I don't fucking care. You don't care. I don't care. You don't care. Um, And then I watch uh, Marilyn Dennis. And DFC. if I'm lucky, I catch The Social. Mm. The, you know what? The Social for Canadian talk show is pretty good. It's the only Canadian talk show other than Marilyn Dennis. Yeah. And it's good when Jan's on. That's the only time. <laughs> Jan's on, I'm I watching. I knew you'd say that. Yeah, that's what I'm I watching. I knew you'd say that. But okay, but for me, I don't have such an issue. Like, same thing. I start with Wendy. Uh-huh. Right? But then... I like the sports desk. Oh, God. So I'll watch a couple hours of the sports uh, desk, right? So I get up. I don't mind the view because I don't hate politics. Uh-huh. Right? But sometimes the girls get a little too much for me. But then I go to the view. Then I got my GH at lunchtime. Right? I got Ellen. And then I got my I got my uh, sports talk show. <laughs> right? So it's like, it's, 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 it's like, it's almost like watching a podcast. That's what they're, right? Uh-huh. And they talk the sports. I know. Yeah. They talk the sports. And then I sometimes I watch Tom, Tim and Sid. Tom, Tim and Sid. Um, and friends of the podcast, these are Canadian shows, the last two, the talk shows. But what I find is that because I'm a news whore, yes, morning talk shows are perfect. Morning a, morning TV is perfect for me because I can just watch. I can watch CTV news. I can watch CBC news. I can watch CNN news. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, you watch it all. I All my stuff is covered. Yeah. Yeah. All of my stuff is covered. No Samantha. offense. Don't really care. Really? Yeah. Because, you know, and actually, you know what I read, though, and I'm, I'm not surprised. It's actually harder to get a new show to catch on in daytime TV than it is primetime. Why is that? Well, Megyn Kelly is a prime example of bombing from oh. daytime TV. Just because she's popular, but, just because people knew her, didn't mean that she was going to have a successful but she daytime is, TV. But she's kind of prime. She's kind of like, like, and your five minutes of fame are over. Yeah. Right? But not everybody can be Oprah and Ellen. Right? No, they and can't be. And Kelly Clarkson, she's coming out with a new daytime TV it's talk gonna show. It's going to fail. It's going to tank. I don't know. You know, I and was watching. There was a show called Pickler and Ben. It's still on. It comes on. It comes on right after. Comes on right after my General Hospital, I think. <laughs> who watches that? Kelly Pickler. Like she was like I on know, American but Idol. Who watches that? And it's like second or third year. Oh my god! So people are watching it. Yeah. yeah. So. Like, you just don't know what people are going to no. pick to watch. You really don't. But. So it, it's harder to launch a show in daytime than it is prime time. But daytime TV, they're willing to take a chance because it's cheaper. But the AJHG said today she was watching, before she came to work, she was watching daytime TV, and it was sitcoms. Really? She was watching Blackish. Oh. Yeah. And they have Baywatch right now on... Um, like Old Baywatch? Yeah, Old really? Baywatch. Really? Yeah, That's, on a e That piques my interest. Or, or is it TLC? I can't remember. One of them, right? Yeah, one of them. What about old talk, past TV talk show hosts? OMG. Right? You want to know what they're doing? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I do. I went down that rabbit hole when Did I went you? looking. 
Sally Jesse Raphael. Oh my God. She's what? raising tomatoes. She's raising tomatoes. She's raising tomatoes. That's crazy. Yeah. Ricky Lake. Yeah. <laughs> occasionally gets. Um, Doesn't she do a Broadway show sometimes? Well, occasionally. Yeah. But apparently she did a documentary on childbirth and actually birthed a baby on camera. Who needs to see that? But then did another documentary about the dangers of hormonal birth control. So she's all about women's junk. Like women's bits and pieces. Yeah, she's she's an advocate for women. Can't get bored with bits and bites. <laughs> no, I don't know. It just came to me. Uh huh. Huh. But yeah, so apparently she's doing that kind of wow. stuff. Wow. Yeah. I did not like her. I liked Sally. Yeah. I didn't Everybody like. Everybody Sally. Though. I didn't like Ricky. Yeah. Who else? Apparently, Geraldo Rivera can't oh. get like arrested. He, I hate. He's horrible. Apparently, all he's being remembered for is bad comments and half naked selfies. Wow, and then yeah. he and he won he won the Apprentice one year too. Yes, so and, and he, so did uh, what's his face? Who Pierce uh, Morgan, Arsenio Hall. Oh yeah, and Arsenio Hall. Yes, and yeah. so did Pierce Morgan. Yeah, and he had a talk show too for a mm-hmm. while. And that didn't Pierce go Morgan well. still has a talk show. Yeah, but not on TV. No, it's late, late. Yeah. No, no, no. Isn't it? No, he's not on TV anymore. No, I thought he he's... did. No, he took over Larry King and then he got booted oh. off of that. Oh, I miss Larry King. I <laughs> love the Larry King show. Oh, that just made me sad for a minute. I think he's still alive. <laughs> he's still alive. He goes to the Dodgers games, right? Yeah. Oh. Who else? Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer apparently is, uh, he hosts a few gigs now and then. Yeah. He did a show called Baggage, where people came in with a suitcase of things that would consider them you would consider undateable. Wow. Yeah, it was a little bizarre. That's crazy. Some of those shows were really crazy. But his show is still in reruns. Yeah. So he probably people a still love Jerry Springer. Yeah, because it's all just nonsense. It's a little right? weird. Mary Pov- uh, Maury Povich owns a bar in Washington D.C. But isn't he still on? No. Oh, that's just syndication too. Jenny Jones now does. Oh, forgot about her. Jenny Jones does an online cooking show. Wasn't she Canadian? Jenny can cook. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Jenny can cook. Jenny can cook. That's what happened to them. Montel Williams mm-hmm. is a big advocate for the LGBT community. Yes, I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. Some people have done some stuff, but I thought it was funny that Sally is growing tomatoes. She's growing tomatoes. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Day you got to do stuff in your life. I guess you do. Might as well grow a tomato. I guess you might as well grow a tomato. <laughs> I'm just saying that I don't, I don't hate the daytime TV as much as some. I don't love right? it. Because I just tune to the news. That's all. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, Samantha. Uh-huh. Right? But you know what, Lisa? Tell me. You know what we need people to do? We need people to share us. Share us. Just share. Uh-huh. Right? Spread the joy. Yes. Right? If you love us. Share us. Tell people about us. Tell your coworkers. Tell your friends. Right? Tell your family. Go to our Facebook page where it says invite at the top. Yes. Click invite. Click. Those are going to be your people that come up. Yes. Share, share, share. Right? Yes. And then we will approve them and then they can be all fun and part of this. <laughs> right? The other thing that we want people to know too is that, you know what, guys? We have 137 episodes. We do. Right? So, you know, go to the back catalog. There's, don't get me wrong. The first couple, they're a little rough. <laughs> But if you want to get the full, to, to, to know the real full Lisa and Sam story, that's where it all There's starts. There's 130 episodes right? to get you caught it up. It all starts with soap operas and Harlequin <laughs> romance novels. <laughs> oh, my God. Doesn't it, Samantha? Yeah, so we have a really big back catalog. So yeah. go dive in, guys. Dive in and have some fun. Yeah. Right? See how we've changed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Lisa? I have a nice shake my head. Okay, go for it. Okay, so again, it's about the bathrooms. So I get that when I get nobody wants to see their stuff, right? That's not the goal, right? The stuff in the toilet. Yeah, right. Like you want to flush it away and you want to forget about it. Yeah. But I think when you're in a public washroom, Uh you need to double check your stuff. You need to double check that your stuff is gone before you leave. Okay. And there's lots of people that don't. I get that there's lots of times that that they that their stuff is gone, but there's still some toilet paper there. Uh Can't you just double flush it down? Don't I deserve to walk into that cubicle and have no no memory of whoever might have been there before me? Uh-huh. I'm just saying. Okay. That's all. That's why I shake my head. That's just, weird. Just turn back and have a peek. Make sure your stuff, <laughs> leave it clean. If every person left that cubicle clean, that yes. stall clean, we wouldn't have disgusting women's bathrooms. This is true. Right? Yes. Hallelujah, sister. Okay. I'm preaching. Okay. All right. What all about right. you? You got an I shake my head? Um. Yeah, I do. Okay. Happens tonight. What was it? Watching you shove that gigantic piece of chicken ball into your mouth. And I just looked at you and I thought, Jesus Christ, you're a 50-year-old woman. Don't you know how big your goddamn mouth is? Apparently, I don't. No, you don't. I either I either don't realize it's smaller or I'm wanting it to be bigger. I don't know. 
<laughs> and you just shove that chicken ball in your mouth, and I'm like, it's too big. Even I knew that before you stuffed it in your mouth. But didn't say anything. No, but I'm just like, I'm just going to oh. watch her choke. And I do believe I asked you. I know. Do you not know I mean, how to blow your mouth is? And then with a mouth full of chicken ball, I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and that made you shake your head? Yes, because I do that all in, the time. You do it all, all the, the time. time. Right? I just want a big girl And bite. I'm like, too big of a piece. <laughs> How can you tell? So what triggers it? Because I'm not choking. Because it's this big. <laughs> you need to go half inch or less. Half. I need to, <laughs> the piece that I think I can eat, I need to cut it in cut half. Cut it in half. I know. And I just always forget. Yes, you do. I always forget. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just got a baby mouth. Uh-huh. I don't know. Weird. Uh, I don't know. Makes no okay, sense. Topic. Topic. I think we're going to talk about rituals and prep for spring, summer. And I get that we've covered bits of this before. Yeah, but, but rituals, guess what? Mm, but then the thing people is, do, you do without realizing it, guys. You got rituals. Probably do things every this time of year. Yes. Yes. Right. To yourself, to your house, to your car, to, to your, whatever, to your fridge, to what to your, your covers, whatever, to whatever. Yeah. You I do. bet you do things you don't even yeah. realize. And it. even though we've covered bits of this type of topic before, it's okay. You know why, Samantha? Spring and summer comes every year. <laughs> right? We'll put a new <laughs> twist on no. it. No. Right? Woo, with a twist. We'll add a twist. Okay. Lisa? Yeah. Samantha, we have merch. About? Yes, we yeah. have merch. Friends of the podcast, we have merch. Woo! We have shirts and hoodies and we have mugs and latte things and, and water bottles and notebooks. We got stickers. We got merch. We got merch. So go to our website www.ishakemyhead.threadless.com You betcha. Right? Buy some merch. Wear us proudly. It's cool. Yeah. We're also part of Patreon. Uh So if you want to support the podcast, so all we're saying, guys, is that if we bring a little bit of joy into your week each, into your life each week, Uh we would love some support. Mm -hmm. Right? Where's that? What's that support get us? Well, I think we're looking at probably expanding some of the equipment that we need. Yes, we are. Uh, we're thinking of doing some live shows, so we're going to need some stuff for that. Yep. Uh, and, you know, just it's regular, you know. It's just everything. Things we have right. to pay for. Things we got to pay for. Yeah. So you know? if you enjoy what we do, this is a great way to support us uh, by, you know. Starting at two dollars, you can $2 start at two dollars, and uh, you just do www.patreon, p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash join slash I shake my head. Yeah. And Betty, you're still going to get something from us. <laughs> just I'm having troubles with the magnets. I told Betty, I sent her a message and I said, we'll get you a mug. And she's like, oh, I don't think I deserve a mug. <laughs> you're probably going to get a mug. Betty. It's probably easier to get a mug. Probably <laughs> easier to get you a mug, my friend. Thanks. Okay. And we'd like to thank Audio Editing Solutions for making us sound so good. And now he's going to have to deal with the air conditioner. Yeah, because guess what? (laughs) We'll turn off heat before we turn off air, right? That's for sure. You can find us on any podcast app, guys. Just just Google I Shake My Hand. And check us out on our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. We're always posting. We're out there. We're just having fun. And and if you hate Facebook, you can blame me. No, no. (laughs) They don't hate Facebook, Samantha. They're unsure of Monday. They're loving Wednesday and they're loving Friday. They're unsure of Monday. So we're, we're going to work on Monday. We're going to Try not see. to take it personal, Lisa. I know, right? Try not to take it personal. Yeah, you seem to. All right. Anything else, Samantha? No, that's good for me. We might even get... Oh, and just so everybody knows, right? We know that we are recording a day early because we're going we to Michael Buble. Buble. And uh, yeah, it's 9.17 here, so I think you... <laughs> I think you might get home by 10. Shut up. Right? You might be in bed by 10, oh Samantha. Oh, my God. Shut up. All right. All right, Samantha. Uh-huh. I guess I'm going to see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Always a pleasure. Yeah, it should be. Mm. This was a podcast from the Podfix Network. You can check out more shows like it at podfixnetwork.com.